Hi guys! Today we're going to be checking this out. It's an All Powers portable solar panel and power bank. Let's go! Right then, so let's have a bit of a chat about this All Powers solar panel and uh, power bank combo. So this is an S200 power bank and an SP026 solar panel. Uh, very special indeed, 60 watt solar panel and 154 uh, watt hour uh, power bank. So not a huge power bank, obviously, as you can see from the fact that I can carry it around like this uh, nice and easily. Weighs about three and a half kilos all in. So that's power bank and solar panel all together. And to give you a bit of a sense of size, it's about the size of, of an A4 piece of paper um, in terms of footprint. Uh, obviously slightly fatter than that uh, when it's all closed up. But we're going to have a bit of a, uh, an opening of this so you can see what you get. Then we're going to test out different things using the 240 uh, mains that you get on the power bank. And we'll just have a bit of a chat through it really. We're going to test the solar out as well, see how we get on with that. So let's get this open and see what you get. So first of all, as you can see, nice zip pocket on the front here. And inside, get rid of some of the bits of uh, paperwork and other bits and pieces. Just get rid of those. Um, so inside you get a lovely little power bank. We'll talk through that in a second. Uh, it slots in very nicely there. Uh, you get a mains charger um, and a, a power adapter there for charging the power bank if you need to from a wall socket in the house uh, or elsewhere. Um, you get uh, some adapters here and a DC power cable that's to use from the solar panel to the power bank if you want to charge the power bank from the solar panel or there's a few other adapters on there if you've got other things that you want to charge directly from the solar panel and you get a couple of carabiners and I'll show you what these are for a bit later when we get the solar panel hooked up on the wall. So uh, inside here then, let's just grab the uh, main unit first. So inside here we've got this. So this is the main power bank unit. This is an S200. Uh, it says on here 154 watt hours of power. Uh, this has got a 200 watt uh, 240 volt mains inverter built in. 240 surge uh, on that. Uh, it's got USB-C on the side and the USB-C works for both charging the unit and also to charge other things as well from the unit. So it's 60 watts in either direction, uh, which does mean if you've got, already got a mains adapter for your MacBook or a decent uh, USB charger, a USB-C charger, you don't need to take the mains charger for this with you if you're not using the solar panel. Uh, it's got the normal DC in socket on the side there that you can probably see. That's just for plugging the uh, the um, solar panel straight into it. A couple of buttons on the side there which turn the AC inverter on and off and also turn on the USB output uh, as well. Uh, a couple of normal USBs on the front as well and a nice little screen. Uh, and that screen on the front there, I'll just switch it back on. Uh, you can probably just about see that, might be a bit difficult in the sun, um, but that basically tells you percentage of battery left, how many hours it would run for um, if you had it at a certain power draw. So if you've got something plugged in, how long it will run for until it's flat. Uh, the input power in watts, DC output power in watts, and also the AC output power in watts. So good and comprehensive, usual kind of thing if you're used to seeing a power bank like this. Uh, and the very last thing is it's got a nice wireless charger on top as well. So uh, quite handy really, uh, useful if you're going to charge drones or you want to charge your MacBook or charge your phone or yeah, I've, I've charged some uh, AirPods on the top of this wireless charging pad as well. Uh, nice rubber feet on the bottom. So yeah, really nice compact little unit that. So that obviously is really enhanced when you use this solar panel with it. So the solar panel, uh, when you open this up, has got this little kind of block inside. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that there has got a couple of USB sockets, USB-C socket, and then the DC out as well. So 
that's so you can charge things directly from the solar panel uh, if you want to. So if you've got anything USB-C, anything normal USB-A, you can just plug those straight into the solar panel and off you go. So the way that it works, uh, very simple. You can just unvelcro it like this and it folds out just like that. So obviously you can see here we've got a couple of loops on it and uh, using those carabiners it's designed to just hang up somewhere basically. So you can hang it up, uh, point it in the relevant direction of the sun, obviously plug your stuff in the bottom and it's as simple as that. It's really, really straightforward. Uh, it hasn't got any kind of stays or anything. So uh, if I tried to put it up here, it would just collapse down. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of rigidity to it. So it is designed to be hung or rested on something. So if you've got a windscreen or something like that, you could obviously lay it on the windscreen of things, but it's, uh, it's 60 watts and uh, it just folds down really small. That's what I really like about it because, you know, really nice and easy, dead easy to take somewhere and put out really, uh, really decent. I think we should get this hung up on that fence and see whether we can get some solar out of it. Let's give it a try. Right, so I'm hoping that the sun's gonna stay out while I do this. So we've got power bank, DC in on the side, plugged in just like that. And then in the back of here, so if we have a look in this pocket, if you remember, we've got this little black thing here, plug that in. And then, as if by magic, if I stand outside the way, this is now saying we've got 31 watts of power going into this. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to see that on the display, but try and get it in the right place for the camera. Might need to zoom in a little bit, but I can read you what it says. It basically says 30 watts, uh, which doesn't surprise me because sun's going down. It's, uh, it's late in the day now. Uh, it's got 86% battery. Uh, it says we've got 99 hours remaining, which doesn't surprise me again because uh, we haven't got anything plugged into it. It's charging. Uh, DC out zero watts and AC out zero watts. So there you go. So yeah, 29 watts of power uh, and uh, it's going to sit there and charge up. Now, what you can do is you can obviously see whether changing the angle of this would make any difference. Uh, I can get it to 31. Um, so a tiny bit, try turning it around a little bit. Either way, no, it's about 30 watts. Uh, that's what it's going to deliver. But what you can also do is obviously you could decide to put this in its pocket. So while it's uh, in the process of charging, it is possible to hang it in its pocket on the back. So effectively you can leave it all nice, clip it on the front of your van or prop it up outside your van, or if you've got a tent or an awning or anything like that, hook it up and it will just sit there charging up really nicely. And the, the fact that it folds up so small, because some solar panel setups, are, you know, they can be quite big, quite bulky, uh, obviously more powerful because of that. But for a 60 watt panel, I think this is really nifty. Uh, I really like it. So let's go and have a look and see what 200 watts will get you. Okay, so we thought we'd give Sarah's e-bike a bit of a go. So as you can see, charging the battery at the back there. Normal Bosch charger. So just to let you know what this is, it is, 1.5 amp to 30 volt and if we have a look at the power bank you can see there oh, switch it back on so it's got 130 watts that it's putting out at the moment from its charge port there 84 percent battery and it reckons it'll do 0.7 of an hour like that so probably wouldn't charge that battery completely on the e-bike, but it'd certainly give it a bit more boost. Uh, and uh, you can probably see there the way that that is switched on and off. You've just got a normal AC out, USB out, so you can turn the AC on and off with that button and then keep an eye on it there. So e-bike battery, yes, um, at a 1.5 amp. Now I think I've got a specialised and I think the charge might be a little bit more powerful. So let's see what it can do with that one. Right, so as you can see here, this is my 
specialised e-bike. You can see it's plugged in down the bottom there. Sorry about all the wires and everything. Uh, but as you can see here, it's taken a little bit more, 146 watts from that one. And that's this specialised power adapter. So it reckons it'll do 0.6 of an hour with that one. But if we have a look around here, see it's charging up nicely. So uh, yeah, second e-bike, no problem at all. Right, while I was in the garage, I thought I'd see what else I could find in here just to give it a quick go with. And uh, if you remember this works vacuum, which we've talked about on the channel before, brilliant for camper vans, by the way, uh, uses these 20 volt works batteries, which are all well and good, but obviously you need a charger for those. Uh, now it comes with a mains charger. Uh, you can buy a 12 volt charger for them, uh, but obviously that's more money and things. And if you've got a power bank, then clearly you'd want to try and see whether that works. So what I'm going to do, this battery's got some charge, it's not fully charged, pop it on its charger, and then let's see how this works. So I've plugged it in, and it says on the bottom of this charger, uh, 50 watts. So it should be easily within what this power bank can do. And it certainly is, because it says 45 watts uh, in terms of output. So. Uh, 1.9 hours, so nearly two hours it could run that at 45 watts, and that's with 78% battery left. So yep, you could certainly just leave that there, and it would sit, and it would run and charge your battery for your works vacuum, or any other works thing. Um, so it's quite universal, really, in terms of what you can use this for. You can do two things at once as well, so if I turn the... Uh, normal AC power on as well. can pop my phone on the top there on the wireless charger and that started charging as well. Uh, so uh, uh, obviously that's gone down a little bit in terms of how long it would last, 1.8 hours now. Uh, but it's sitting there charging on the top, no problem at all, at the same time as it's charging that battery too. So yes, it can do more, thing, more than one thing at once, which is really handy. Now I know you're going to say this is really random and you're correct, but I saw this and I thought, you know what, if you haven't got cordless tools and you need to be able to power them because you're doing a particular job or something, would this actually power things like this main sander? Well, lo and behold, yes it does. Uh, so <laughs> what do you know? Uh, so yes, it does. It powers main sunders. This one's rated at 200 watts. Uh, when I looked on it earlier, when I was just trying it, it was running about 120-ish, something like that. So yeah, why not? If you've got something small like this, why not use it around the house at the same time? Thought we'd give a quick go to MacBook and iPhone at the same time. So we need to do quick plug into the type C there quick plug in there that's one let's see what's happening now so we've got 58 watts of power going out right there 59 and then bung that on the top there and hopefully yep we're charging on the top there so it's gone up to 65 so charging both simultaneously, wireless charger on top, MacBook charging at full power from the power bank, jobs are good. Right, so closing this up then, very easy. Um, and it, just a case of, I'm gonna take these carabiners off uh, just because they store nicely inside, put those back in there in a minute. Uh, so all you need to do with this, fold it over, and then fold these over like that. And that just Velcro's shut there. And then obviously you can fill this back up with all the goodies inside, zip it shut, and then you're good to go. Simple as that. I think this is a cracking panel. Uh, these are currently retailing at 199. So that's the panel with the power bank as a kit, solar charging kit. Uh, I think that's quite a good value, really. Do check in the description below for any discount codes that we've managed to get from 
all powers on this one. Um, we usually manage to get something off these, so do check in the description below and see if there's anything that we can do for you. Um, hopefully you like this kind of tech. Uh, we've reviewed a few of these bits and pieces now. This one feels a little bit different because of just how small it is. I do love this. Uh, hopefully it might suit you, uh, it might suit your purpose. If not, let us know. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. So hopefully that's been helpful. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon for some more Camper Van Time.